And as soon as the weather improved enough to allow him to do so, the president made sure to check on some of our countrymen who were affected by the intense flooding yesterday. The chief executive visited Valenzuela in Navotas today, where he was briefed by local officials on the situation on the ground in the aftermath of Super Typhoon Karina. Joshua Garcia has the details. At the alert center earlier, Valenzuela City Mayor Wes Cachalian briefed President Ferdinand R. Marcus Jr. on the current situation in the city. Flooding persists in certain areas of Valenzuela. According to the LGU, they have opened 77 evacuation centers in 32 barangays in the city. More than 5,000 families, equivalent to over 20,000 individuals, have been affected. Mayor Wes Cachalian noted, The factors affecting, number one, yung uh, high tide natin from uh, 2 to 11 p.m. as high as 1.3 meters. So, second, yung nagpakawala po sa hanggat. The president also visited Malanday National High School riding a truck. He passed through flooded areas. The president wondered why there is still flooding in Valenzuela despite the presence of a number of flood control measures to mitigate the situation. Marami na silang flood control, pero nasa pawan itong nagaano ng, ng, ng sa dami ng tubig. At Pag-asa Science Garden, 461.4 millimeters of rainfall was recorded on Wednesday. This amount of precipitation normally expected in a month fell within just 24 hours, overwhelming the flood control projects around Kamanava. So we have to relook, we have to re-examine some of the designs of our flood control. For example, this was not, the, the, the amount of water was not as bad as Undoy, but the effect was greater than Undoy. The flood control project by the DPWH is worth 1 billion pesos, accompanied by MMDA Chairman Don Artes and DILG Secretary Ben Harabalos Jr., the president inspected a flood control system in the Votas to personally understand the problem. What we have seen is that uh, one of the most important parts uh, that uh, nagka problema was that navigation uh, uh, gate that we went to na nasira because binangga ng isang barko basta hindi sumunod sa instruction sinira niya. This is why 80% of Navotas is still underwater. In Tanza, life remains difficult for those affected by the flooding. Aside from the difficulty of wading through flood waters, taking a boat, their primary means of transportation, is expensive. The fare ranges from 40 to 50 pesos to cross the flood without getting wet. Ness and EJ, a married couple, bought plenty of supplies to avoid leaving their house frequently. Tulungan na lang po sa, lalo na ngayon ang hirap mamili kasi nagkakaubusan din po. Nori, a mother, braved the rushing water just to buy food. Galing kayo palengke. Uh -huh. Hindi ba kayo mahihirapan? Medyo malakas ang algos? Mahihirapan, no. Kaso wala naman magawa. Despite the high flood waters, the president also navigated through the area to see the situation of the flood victims. Because I wanted to see uh, what, uh, uh, what the situation was. It's really different listening, uh, reading the uh, piece of paper than actually seeing it and seeing what people have to go through. The president said that in this way, he could better understand the real problems and empathize with that his fellow citizens are going through. Joshua Garcia from the National TV Network for a new and better Philippines.